Hi everyone, welcome back to Gom's Tech Talks channel. I'm Dr. Gomati. Today, we are going to dive into a crucial topic in the world of business and finance, that is global dimensions and shortcut dimensions. Difference between these two dimensions in business center. These are essential for categorizing and analyzing data within your organization. In this video, I'll break down the key differences between global dimensions and shortcut dimensions, provide real world examples and explore when to use each. So let's get started. Before we proceed, I'd like to tell you that this is my channel, Gomes Tech Talks. If you haven't subscribed yet, please first subscribe here so you will get the latest videos in your YouTube. And if you want to join as a member, you can join here where you will get an exclusive offer for the perks like you will get a week uh, monthly twice pdf book pdfs and you will get uh, all the pdfs and documents whichever i'm discussing in my video okay so even this document if you wanted to get uh, access this document you can you can join as a member and if you just join as a member and send me a mail you can definitely get this this particular document okay and what are the other things which are there for the subscribers is what uh, this is my channel so here you can see the various playlist for you that is functional consultant okay and then you can see it's of interview questions business central mini project and also you can see that this is for technical consultant business central learning path so all these playlists are exclusive for the business central tutorial so you can just gain the access here and once if you go here you can see so if you are not aware of what is dimension i have already published a video on dimensions here you can go and watch it mastering dimensions setup so by this Sunday, you will also get an another part that is part two regarding the business central dimensions. So here you can see every week I'll be uploading these things, these topics on these topics video. So please watch it. Don't miss it. And uh, apart from these days, so any other topics like this differences between or something on demand videos, which I'll be posting it on Wednesday at 5 p.m okay so now let's get started so this is the difference between global dimension and the shortcut dimension so first of all let us understand what is global dimension so global dimension are system wide dimensions that can be defined to categorize the filter data across the entire system so dimensions if you want to know about the dimension first of all please go and watch it in my youtube video pro, uh, pro, uh, that is my um, playlist so here you can find the business central dimension what is that okay so first watch that and try to understand this topic so global dimensions uh, uh talking about the global dimension is what like the big picture okay you can think of them as a filter that you apply to your entire organization's data typically you can define up to two global dimensions in your system okay so imagine you have two global dimensions region and product line these dimensions are applied across all transactions and reports in your organization region could help you analyze sales by geographic area and product line could categorize products for better analysis so in a real-time scenario, a company might use region as a global dimension to track sales performance by region across sales orders, pur purchase orders, and financial reports. It gives you a high-level overview of data. Whereas, talking about the shortcut dimension, okay, so what all is shortcut dimension is what? These are more like the fine details, like shortcut dimensions are specific to particular transaction types allowing for detailed categorizations within these organize uh, those transactions okay so you can define up to eight shortcut dimensions for example let us take in a sales order you might have shortcut dimensions like sales person project and department so each of these dimension provides detailed information about that specific sales order and if we take about the real time scenario in a sales order the sales per person shortcut dimension helps track which sales person is responsible for a sale while project categorizes the sales under a specific project so these dimension provide granular insights within the context of sales order okay so these are the various aspects so this is the uh, definition and if you see number of uh, dimensions you can create 
so for global dimensions you can create only two global dimensions and shortcut dimensions you can create eight shortcut dimension and this is the usage so you can use the global dimensions or use as a primary filters okay whereas the shortcut dimensions are used as a detail categorization availability global dimensions are available on various pages including reports batch jobs ledger entry pages and analysis view whereas shortcut dimensions are available as a field on journal document lines and ledger entries they are specific to the transaction type they are associated with and you can see the uh, scope of impact so changes to the global dimension can potentially impact a wide range of data and transactions because they are system wide right whereas the low, um, shortcut dimensions changes to shortcut dimensions typically impact transactions of the specific type and these are the common examples which i have already discussed with you with the real time scenario and these are the examples for the uh, shortcut dimensions and here you can see the number of entries okay since there are typically only two dimensions the system manages them at a higher level which can be more efficient for managing large volumes of data whereas the shortcut dimensions you can define up to eight shortcut dimensions allowing for more detailed categorization and customizations within a specific transaction type okay so um and uh, there you have it a global dimension and a shortcut dimensions which are powerful tools for categorizing and analyzing data in your business remember global dimensions offer the big picture while shortcut dimensions provide the finer details knowing when to use each will help you make better data driven decisions so before we wrap up don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you found this helpful subscribe to my channel for more informative content and leave a comment down below with any questions or topic you would like to cover in the future videos and if you want to access this document okay so i have prepared this documents exclusive for the content which i want to do explain it to you if you want to access the documents not only these documents whatever the document which i'm using to explain it in my video you can see you can go through a lot of my videos i'll be creating my own documents and uh, if you are a member okay so if you click here you will be a subscriber but if you are a member so in uh, uh, so here if you click okay so if you click here you will be a subscriber but if you join as a member here you can access this document i'll be sharing this document for your reference okay so remember to join and if you have any queries please let me know and being a member you will also ask you can also ask me queries through mail and i can definitely solve the queries soon within 24 hours or 48 hours of time okay so take care Stay safe. Bye bye. Will I'll meet you soon in a next exciting video. Thank you. Bye bye.